Yo, 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 what up, though, man? It's your boy Stupinions here, back with another episode for the Angel Wings. We're back to, we're going on to part two of this, um, you know, game Angel Wings. Um, shout out to the Stoop Troop. Listen, if you enjoyed part one, if you watched part two, or if you take a look at any videos, be sure to like, like the video. Definitely like the video, especially if you like the video. Be sure to like it. Um, and also subscribe to the channel, you know, join the Stoop Troop Army. You know, we're on the road to about 10 followers. So, you know, hey, we're starting slow. You know, this is how we, how we get started up here in these streets. But, um, yeah, we're getting back to Angel Wings, man. This episode, if you remember how the last episode ended, you know, a lot of it was just building up and we got to know a little bit more about characters. So it was a lot of meeting those characters. Uh, this episode is now going to dive into the actual relationship building with those characters. So there's going to be a lot of choices. You're going to be able to meet a lot more characters in this episode. Um, and, you know, we'll dive right into it. But, you know, once again, be sure to like, subscribe, and definitely share the video because this is something that, you know, I'm hoping to do is, you know, dive a little more into some of these indie games. Um, if you're interested in what I'm doing here, be sure to also follow me on Twitch. Uh, we're over here, you know, doing the a different type of games on Twitch, you know what I mean? Like, it could be anything from this, indie games, or it could be anything to more well-known games, such as Call of Duty with the squad who we be wildin'. But anyways, be sure to enjoy yourself and enjoy the video and enjoy your day. So it's a beautiful day when you're down with the Stoop Troop. Peace, have fun, see y'all later. Oh, you just... You just, uh, you just got friend zoned. The sizzle of the pan. Somebody's whipping at work. Stir it up like a stir fry. I mean, clearly she's the only one in the house with silver hair, so. Unless you think it's her mother. Yeah, it's probably her. I debate whether I should say hello. Why are you debating that? You were living in a home with people. You should say hello every morning. What's up with this guy, man? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. She beat you to it. All you had to do was say good morning. Oh, okay. You get good breakfast. Eggshell white bull for shamrock green contest slide over berries and assort She's trying to poison me. She ain't trying to give me courage. She is trying to poison me. First of all, what happened to the good old breakfast? You know, eggs, bacon, sausage, hash browns. What happened to that? Why what is this? I mean, I know they described it, but it says green contents. What are the green contents? Listen, man, you should probably be rude and say, I'm not eating this. Like, I'll go eat at uh, the fake Starbucks, you know? Or order Uber on your skull son, because uh, that looks a little rough. Looks a little rough. She got you that dog vomit with uh, with berries and grains. You know, it's kind of rough. Yeah, that's probably why. Listen, I'm, I wish they let you choose, you know, the size of your person, because... Uh, He's anything like my size, he ain't gonna be in this. Gonna tell you that for a fact. A matchka yogurt topped with raspberries and blueberries. I wasn't sure if you had any dietary concerns. Well, hopefully you're not lactose intolerant. I guess I forgot to consider that. I'm not lactose intolerant, but I'm trans food intolerant. Like, what are you? This is garbanzos. Here's my next mission if I choose to accept it. I wish they give me this option. Wake up before her and cook breakfast because uh, this shouldn't fly again. Yeah, definitely not the fanciest. Listen, listen, this is, I got I to gotta keep it real with you. I got to keep it real. That food you made tastes like dog kibble mixed with broiled broccoli like that food was trash listen i gotta keep it real man that's what i'm doing i gotta keep it real my goal is to keep it real that's courage courage is telling someone their food is garbage all right so you need to go ahead and step your game up download a recipe app and just make regular food i don't know what you was thinking in that kitchen and it's not my style as being too good it's being too crazy like 
No, it's not good. All right, there you go. Say it. Say it. You should say that. Yo, this guy is such a loser. That's basically what you fed me. That's what you fed me. Why can't he just say, listen, this is a learning lesson for those. For those who are in a relationship, you probably already know, but this is a learning lesson. If Even if you're on the dating scene, you got to keep it honest with people. Like, hey, if you're up front and you're like, hey, you're not looking for anything serious and you're just looking for a casual thing, you let that be known up front so that you don't end up, um, you know, miss, mixing messages there. In this situation, you need to let her know it's not good because if you don't, then she's going to keep feeding you that vomit mixed with dog kibbles and bits every single day. Just say it. Adventurous recipe. It doesn't always when it's worth a try, right? Yeah, you should start with something simple. My dude is such a loser, man. Just say it's trash. That's it. That's it, Poppy. That's it. Just say it's garbage. That's it. Yeah, you should. You should also stop by the drive thru and pick up something better than that trash. What? I got fired? Okay, so you do do you do good things, just you can't cook. So it's, it's fine. So do I. You got a day off every other day. Okay. How did you manage this arrangement? That's what I want to know. Oh ho! ho. Oh this. Hmm. You are wild. Finally, the only legitimate question you ask is you're not as familiar with the town. The local art school is offering regular lessons and you could stand to hit the gym a little bit. Yo, this girl just called me fat when she tried to feed me meow mix in a bowl. Yo, I'm sick of you. I'm sick of it. I don't want no parts, man. As a matter of fact, bro, you should look up. You should take this time to go to find your own place because she literally tried to feed you bird food in a bowl with a green apple juice, a green apple smoothie mixed with bird food and kibbles, and then she's going to tell you you can stand and hit the gym a little bit. I'm sick of this, man. I'm sick. I'm sick of this lady. Oh, she's not saying it. She's not, she's not insinuating. She said it. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I had no bit I had no no wrong feelings sitting here roasting you over that bird food dog food mix you made me. That's what I want to know. Clear, I'm sure that's not what it is. How about you don't? How about you get a regular day job? Because clearly cooking is not for you. I wasn't always good at it. You're still not good at it now. Suggestions. You told me to go to the gym and you told me to go one other place. Like it's not that difficult to remember. She has the best intentions. She's been roasting you since you walked in the house. Clearly, you're a burden. Ah, she's trying to play you, bro. So I don't.
don't get taxed on your wow well between all of this i don't know where the other two roommates are like that's pretty good okay i would describe myself as an extroverted person if i'm answering this honestly the answer is no you know definitely not extroverted i often struggle to make friends or start a conversation so that's tough i don't struggle to make friends but jump into starting a conversation well i'm pretty solid at that so i'll say yeah not really a sports fan that's false you know ready to ready to hoop it up a little bit with the kids around the block i enjoy having a regular routine and i prefer to not deviate from it um man i feel like this is this game is really touching my soul like a regular routine and not deviate from it like uh why is this on a renders form let's start there why is this on bro you don't need to know anything about me besides my name for legal reasons give me the renders contract why is this on i'm not even thinking about this no more why are you putting it on as a render form so regular routine prefer not deviate from it i'm gonna say i, I don't know about a regular routine but i actually you know i would say yeah that's fine I build strong emotional connected with characters in films or drama. Man, you know, bitch, the fuck? I'm often deeply moved by a good book or a powerful painting. Big false. I would prefer to be physically attractive, a phys or phys physically active rather than focus on my work. I mean, you could do both. I don't know what the rather is. Like, you can focus on your work and still be physically active, especially if your work is in an active field. Well, clearly, this guy's working at a. Uh, fake starbucks like moon bucks so um you know that still has a little little level little activity to it because you're on your feet a majority of the time so i'm gonna say false this has nothing to do with renting a place by the way just to let you know this has absolutely nothing to do with renting a place she just literally she literally just gave me a personality test and said this is your renter's form like i i do not like this lady at all you're really going to the art school man this Okay, that's your interest. What's an art school or church? Mm. The musty scent of paper. We getting that paper, son? You know what it is? Oh, what's up with you, Professor X? Ah, you must be our new student. Please, take a seat. I feel like it's a mix of Sean Connery and somebody else. This is really, stere this is really stereotyping the art crowd. Sure it is. Redheaded girl meticulously on the pencil sketch. So anytime, uh, point is, anytime he describes somebody, it's going to be an interest for him. Well, class, let's get started, shall we? That means you think the teacher's trash because he ain't teaching nothing. Looking at the redheaded girl, huh? Mature look with angular features. So you went to art class to look for females. Listen, listen, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I think you're low key kind of a creep. You're like one of those guys that go to like the women's marches and be like, oh, feminism this, feminism that, but really you don't care. You're just trying to pick up a girl. I think you're a little creepy, but hey, listen, do you, play you. you're all adults why do you gotta go to the bathroom sometimes i 
forget. Okay, they're setting the scene now. Wow, I was not expecting that. How'd it go? You told me to go to art class. What, how do you think it went? Are we telling lies now? How many people, first of all, what is the probability that everywhere I go, I'm going to run into somebody who lives in this house? Like, what are you running here? Is this a brothel? Like, because I need to know, because that's weird. Like, every single person you just run into and they all live in the same house. Where's the other male in this house? Where's the dude? Like, you know, where's the guy I can play dominoes with? You know what I mean? Like, while between all this stuff that's happened. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know if I'd say that. Self-defense tool. Man, you live in a house with like 12 people. Of course there's going to be somebody in the kitchen. No, Blade Runner. Just wearing the same outfit for last time. Yeah. She J Paul them. She J. <laughs> Yo, it's the sound effect for me. That's what it is. It's not even what happened. It's the sound effect. It's like, hey, good dude. Man, that's funny. That is funny. Man, you see, this is what you get for not minding your business. I told you, hey, you live in a house with like 14 people. It's quite possibly a brothel. Like they haven't actually, you know, clarified that yet. You see somebody in the kitchen and you walk up to them. You could have said hi from far away. And then she just straight Nate Robinson's you. Hey, listen, I'm not mad. Oh, and it was a punch. <laughs> Wait, did she knock him out? She knocked him out. <laughs> This guy is such a loser. He really got Nate Robinson. Yeah, you you know what? That's a great idea. You should hit the gym. You should hit the gym. You should stock up bodybuild so you can take self-defense classes and you can protect yourself at all times. Your new name is Nate Robinson because you got slapped. Listen, I don't know what to tell you, but uh, that's rough. <laughs> Just get on the treadmill, man. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. It's like the LA Fitness. You got a basketball hoop. Listen, I used to play uh, back when I was more in shape. When I was more in shape. When I was in shape, um, I used to play. So I hope you go play, bro. Yes. Yes. I heard a girl's voice. Oh, you are such a creep, man. Uh, you should probably not roll up on her. She's about to hit you with the with the Tyson with the with the uppercut. That'd be a that'd be a bad idea, bro. Oh, she giving it work? Okay. Really? Have been the perfect time to get your revenge. She she knocked you out. You could hit her with the crossover, hit her with the, the Iverson step back. This guy, I don't even know about this guy anymore. It's day three. It's been a rough time for you.
not a good thing, you creep. See, this is a clear decision. I don't know. Like, listen, just to fill you in on the back end. He chased her when he shouldn't have. So to say hi, you haven't even had that conversation with her yet. It'd be like, look, my bad. You know, I didn't mean to chase you. I wasn't stalking you because she thought I was a stalker. You haven't had the conversation. So the right time is not to approach her with two of her friends. So the move is to walk away. Yep. Yep, you ain't lying. That's the first smart decision you made. She must, that girl must have hit you so hard you made a good decision. They don't eat in the kitchen. What do you mean? What do you mean? Okay, put it in the air, put it in existence, shoot the shot. Too old. How old is my guy? Bro, come on, man. Come on. You gotta help out. You gotta help out. You can't just let somebody... Listen, my clean game, my clean game is impeccable. That's a fact right there. Raise you right. Listen, listen, you move out the way. Let me get the palm olive. It's a wrap. It's over. Question get stupid answers. Like I said, that was a little moment you had with her, and all you had to do was clean some dishes. Wasn't that bad? High heels. She, oh, the way she's a blonde now? The world that search for courage. I told you that before you even joined, buddy. Bro, you don't like our class. Our class is trash. Just skip school. Empty brown bottles. Oh, you're about to be a party now. Oh, is that really why? Oh, you're making a lot of judgments here, bud. Ah, uh, yep. I feel like, yo, every time I say what's on my mind, this guy... Pencil and sketchbook. Oh, she's... Wow. 
wow what is my guy dressed with come on like i got some nikes or something on girl i like the way it's just automatically girl till you figure out their name oh really she didn't even see you ah yep she ain't she don't even know you she ain't even paying attention Clearly, she ain't interested in you, man. So, like, you need to, um, you need to probably figure that one out. Uh, you can mess up cinnamon. I don't know what type of cinnamon you've ever eaten, but you can mess up cinnamon. Listen, the craziest cinnamon cereal I've ever seen was a cereal called it wasn't it was a knockoff cereal. And listen, I like knockoff cereals personally. I'm not a guy that doesn't like knockoff cereals, so I don't have any issues with any cereal that's a knockoff. But the craziest name, it was just the most straightforward name ever. It was Crispy Hexagons was the name of this cereal. So it was basically cinnamon. It was a knockoff. Um, Cinnamon Toast Crunch And they didn't waste no time With the actual name It just said Crispy Hexagons And let me tell you I can't describe the flavor Because you have to just know What a Crispy Hexagon is But it was really good cereal So you, you can mess up Cinnamon Because that was a good example But I've also had some ones You know with dragons And all types of creatures on it That is just straight garbage So listen buddy um, Yeah don't don't speak it into existence. The cinnamon grow on trees. What does cinnamon look like? Do they grind it up for cereal? Do you got a phone? Pull out your skull sung, your figure, your fake Samsung, and figure it out. Soft Yelp. Keep making your damn cereal. <laughs> Look at what my dude chooses to be bold. This guy chooses to be bold in this situation. Like, there's so many other situations up to this point where he could be bold. He's I'm just going to keep making my damn cereal, man. I don't care about her. You know, let her keep hiding away from me. Dude, she thinks you a stalker. You ain't never say nothing. And now you be like, I'm just going to make my damn cereal. I don't care. I don't care about her. Like, dude, where are you coming? Where is it that this is where the confidence is coming from? Like, I'm even going to say, bro, if you don't, man, listen, this is the obvious, clearly. You want some breakfast? You say it like you're whipping something up. You're just making cinnamon, bro. Like cinnamon toast crunch. Like this can't mess it up. Maybe you can help me pick which cereal I want. These generic brands are hit or miss. Shoot your shot, bro. Shoot your shot. Shooters are gonna shoot, man. But this is kind of like uh, you're pulling up from half court with this one. Picking up, picking a brand of cereal for breakfast is not really a dating material type stuff. Gross. <laughs> you both very much alike. Socially awkward. Puppy? You compared a woman to a puppy? 